speaking of the world we live in, uh, so I've been, um, I try to be in the middle when it comes to like, you know, the liberals and conservatives and everything of that nature. I like to hold everyone accountable. Um, sometimes Fox News has certain shows and hosts. I make it a little hard. Like uh, Tucker Carlson, he's kind of like the <laughs> focus of today. So, um, and, and mind you, you know, I, I try to look at everything, like, you know, to look at everyone's standpoint instead of disagreeing. But my issue with him, and, and, and you know, and there's a lot of people are like Fox News, and not to say CNN on the other side is like, oh, you know, this and that. But talking about today, um, I seen their reaction to the to the Buffalo shooting, right? I've also seen their reaction to like Black Lives Matter protests. I've seen their reaction to January 6th. And to me, the double standard is just like super crazy. It's just like when Black Lives Matter does a, a peaceful protest, it's like domestic terrorism in their eyes. Then when uh, a hate crime is committed in Buffalo, they're talking about, well, mental health. We, need, we don't need to talk about hate crimes. We need to talk about mental health and this and, and that. And so I'm he did it again. Back and forth. <laughs> I'm basically yeah. like, well, okay, because y'all separated these two things. So is there anybody that can commit hate crime that doesn't have mental health? And then, you know, that's when they really are the thing. I'm like, but y'all keep separating these things. Like, we're ignoring that this was a hate crime. But then anytime, like, Black Lives Matter or, or a different nationality is standing the up for trying to be heard, it's like, oh, they're domestic terrorists. Oh, they're doing too much. Oh, they're complaining about this too much. And they need to go and do that. But then it's like, no, we, we shouldn't judge them like that. But when, when, the, when the hate crime happens from, you know, a, a Caucasian person, it's like, well, mental health. We really need to look at mental health, this and that. And I literally put on my YouTube channel where it's like a video of him talking about both topics. Like, this, <laughs> just like crazy and this and that. And I'm going back and forth in the comment section with Fox News. And I don't like to argue. I like to ask questions and, and just spark people to think for themselves. Let's not just follow the program. And that's on all news station. Let's think for ourselves. So I asked them, you know, like certain questions. That's like, well, why? Why is it when this happens, everyone's ignoring the fact of the hate crime that actually took place? Nobody in the comment section is talking about the hate crime. Y'all talking about y'all talk about Biden's administration sent somebody to go do this so the Democrats look better. Which, look, I don't put nothing past anybody, but if you don't have proof, let's talk about the facts first. You know what I'm saying? Before we dive into these theories, you know what I mean? Let's address the facts. And then the comment section is like, nobody's ignoring that. And I was like, this video has over a million views and like over 50,000 comments. How many condolences or prayers have you seen for the families that were lost? He did the I same thing for, he did the same thing for the Texas shooting. He brought, he the school shooting that brought up the mental second. health aspect again. Yeah, like he he brought up the mental health aspect again, and then he has the nerve to sit there, say, "Am I the only one that's noticing this?" Yes, mm. Tucker. Yes, you are the <laughs> only one, bro. Because <laughs> their mean? biggest thing is their concern about more gun laws, which in Texas is crazy. It's harder to get a driver's license than to get a gun. To me, is is banana. Harder to um, vote than to get a gun. Yeah, harder to, harder to vote. You're, you're <laughs> definitely God given right, right? And to me, it, it's just like oh, bananas that they will be like, their biggest thing is like, well, criminals are criminals. They're going to break the laws. So why are you trying to pass more laws? But then with something else, it's like, oh, yeah, I need the laws. These people are against the police. That it, yo, if, and then I asked this question. I still haven't yeah. got yet. I said, well, if criminals are just going to break the laws and laws don't prevent more criminal activity, why do we have any laws? Maybe we should just get rid of every law? Question mark. It, no response. I, I think what's so interesting is uh when when the Supreme Court uh when political leaked the draft from the Supreme Court uh about Roe v. Wade, right? Mm -hmm. Um, and protests were like sprung up, you know, in DC and then uh, protesters started started sorry started <laughs> protesters started showing up at like supreme court justices homes like they acted super quick to like protect them and that was just protests like picketing mm -hmm. and then you have actual gun violence happening at schools at hospitals at churches all over the country and nothing is being done about it and it's it speaks volumes as to where like the priorities of 
that that our government has and it's like money over people you know mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and with these news with these with fox news and tucker he's just pushing an agenda of course so it is. that's all he's getting paid to do and like like i had mentioned before uh yeah. Bring that before on. we started recording this like yeah. so i forget the the exact thing that happened but like tucker carlson had to testify in court or mm. against congress or something like that and he had to say <laughs> that like his show is entertainment like it's not news yeah he literally and said i'm not a journalist people <laughs> yeah and then his but followers are like thanks for coming with the real news. platform <laughs> like <laughs> like what and their cronies like they they're all really successful and doing is like making shit up and then people just like eat it up you know like they just they're unapologetic in how they lie and not saying that democrats don't lie but it it's just they're like democrats will eat their own you know there's 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 accountability but there's also like like it, it, it they end up shooting themselves in the foot um yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, and, and yeah. I, that's and what's like, kind of yeah. No, I agree with that because, like, oh, even I'm, on I'm done with my point, yeah. No, nah, because even like on liberal media, they're making fun of Joe Biden right now, and you know, Sleepy Joe and stuff like that. You know, but it's like my thing is like <laughs> <laughs> my thing is just like why you know, and especially it seems to happen from the other side. I mean, and both sides have happened to do but why do you have to act like your the side is perfect? Like we can all just hold our sides accountable, whatever we agree with, you know what I mean? Because I am a person that loves to hear both sides. That's why I'm always going to tune into Fox News because I want to hear the opposite of what, what this side is saying. I want to understand the perspective. I want to be able to build a dialogue with these people, see if we can come to an understanding or if we just agree to disagree, you know what I mean? Right. And my thing is like, why do we have to act like somebody's so perfect and we don't hold them accountable? And that's where y'all lose me. Mm-hmm. Because when y'all can't hold the side accountable and just act like, mm-hmm. oh, you know, well, we can't act like they did one thing wrong, otherwise they're going to come down. On... No, just hold it accountable. Nobody's perfect. I can mm-hmm. ride with you if you'd be like, yo, both sides are messing up here. This is what we need to do. I don't hear none of these sides talk about we all need to work together as Americans and this and that. Right. And, and just when the narrative changes yeah. and it's a mental health thing, it, it really it, it throws me off because I see a lot of minorities in, in prison over jail. And then when they're not minorities, they bring up mental health. When it's minorities, it's like, yo, they need to be locked up. These are criminals. When it's someone else, it's like, yo, they need they need the proper help and understanding. Listen, I have no problem with mental health. Yeah. Then everybody needs the mental health. You know what I mean? But one group can be criminals yeah. for the same thing. And one, they just need a little more understanding and, and, and mental health. Listen, and that, you know? No, nah, there's no understanding for that. <laughs> there's just none. And he, he wants to sit there and push a narrative to have people be on the same boat as him to sit there and try to find an understanding for somebody walking into a school and gunning down young children or walking into, you know, a, a grocery store and killing everybody that's mainly black and sit here and say, it's a mental health issue. Mm-hmm. That just, this doesn't make no sense. Bro. Yeah, they are crazy. It is mental health, but let's not <laughs> ignore what, what's happening and what's fueling these things. Mm -hmm. because a lot of people that are defending it are also the same people that are fueling it you know Mm -hmm. what i mean hey that's a whole nother episode where we start talking critical race theory and yeah we don't want to teach actual factual history like yo like come on what what do y'all think y'all fueling y'all don't yeah we don't want to have a conversation about facts and history like but right yeah and the other thing is like being mentally ill being neurodivergent or neurotypical like that doesn't excuse you from being an asshole Mm -hmm. you know (laughs) like you can have you can have these issues but that doesn't mean that you get a carte blanche to like just go gung-ho on people you know like there there has to be accountability Mm -hmm. for sure for sure and where are the parents that are raising these children like to do this buying the yeah yeah like (laughs) Like, where are the, you get where called are the parents? Because on... that's the first thing that comes to my head when I see an eighteen-year-old do something like this. Where, where at the gun store? <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say? At the, at the gun store. <laughs> at the gun, the gun store. store. 
yeah. the kids ain't buying them. They just buy the guns and the kids get the guns and they do what they do. I mean, it's that's how it is. Like, mm-hmm. I guess we'll yeah. find out. Yeah. I guess we'll find out about like the um, oh man, what's the name of the town that this happened in uh, two days ago? Something oh. with a U, and I don't remember anymore. But I know it's Texas. Yeah, it was somewhere in remember. Texas. But like, who knows? Like how? I, mean, I learned today Uvidale? that bought a gun. Uvidale? Huh? I don't even know how to say this word. Uvado, Uvado school shooter. Uvado, U V A D L E. Uvado. Yeah, Uvado, right. Texas. <laughs> I don't know how to say the word, but yeah, um, it's in Uvalde, Texas. Yeah, uh, this kid, like, the day, so I learned this morning, like, the day, like, on his birthday, on his 18th birthday, he bought a gun. Like, he went and he bought a gun. What they haven't figured out yet, like, they can speculate, is whether the weapons he bought on that day, he went to, like, you know open fire at the school and he went in like tactical gear so when the when the cops ca- yeah when the police came to like shoot at him they they couldn't get him and it's the same thing that happened in buffalo like that other shooter he arrived in tactical gear like these this is premeditated you know and and it's incredibly upsetting that like these these things keep happening and like our elected officials are not doing enough you know, like, I get the whole Second Amendment rights and stuff, but, like, the reality is when there is a gun in the home, you know, there is a higher likelihood of that gun being used. And who knows if this kid was in an environment where he had that available to him. Um, but it's really unfortunate that, like, you just go and, and take it out on children, on innocent people, on, you know, unarmed, like... Yeah. It's ridiculous. And it's so hard to not be desensitized because of how often this is occurring. Like, this is ridiculous. Like, we, like us as a country dealing with this, this is such a, a, a uniquely American thing. And mm-hmm. it's it's an embarrassment. Yeah. And, like, the, I, oh, my God, I remember. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry? No, I'm saying we're the number one country this happens in. There's no country that has half of the shootings that we do. And like, like, like in New Zealand in 2018, during that, uh, I think it was 2018 or 2019, that like, uh, I think it was at, at a mosque, or at, I don't remember if it was at a mosque or at a church, but there was a shooter who like shot at people. And that was taken care of like right away. Granted, New Zealand is a smaller country, but like, the fact that we are used as an inspiration for these kinds of atrocities, it's, it's, this is not something to be proud of. It's an embarrassment. It's weird to me. Like, totally. just go to the army or something. Like, I don't know why you have to, like, mm-hmm. like, white. Really? Innocent people. Like, if you want to shoot something, like, there's a job for that. Like, just go do that. Go to the army. And we stay in the war, so you go be able to shoot. <laughs> Yeah, and you'll get a medal for it. Like, like, like you'll be praised for that. Like, 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 why you have to go do to random people? Like, just I don't know. At least go to the what's the ROTC or whatever. Like, at least go to training or Or something. Go to a gun range. Shoot some dummy. Gun range, something. You know what I'm saying? Go play paintball. Like, why you gotta go? (laughs) (laughs) There's so many options. You know, laser tag. Like, this. There's a lot of things (laughs) you can do. Instead, (laughs) like instead of just going, I don't know. It's like there's 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 options to like I don't know if you are like mentally challenged whatever they say like you know there's there's ways to release that if if that's what you want to do like you can go in tactical gear and play paintball like mm-hmm. people people do that yeah and and the other thing the other thing with the mental health defense is that of people like everyone who I know who struggles with mental health like the only pain they're inflicting is on themselves. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you know so at least the people i know and and from personal experience like it's it's not it, it's more of an internal thing and if it if it's outward i mean i don't know i'm not a, i'm not an expert but like 
Mm. If it's outward, yeah. that's a different story. You you affecting other people. So it, it, yeah. the outsiders now have to address it. Like my thing is, it's hard for me to understand both sides of the situation when the now it shouldn't be harder to vote than to get a gun. Like voting is a right. I'm not saying take away your right to bear arms because I believe we should have that right. But y'all can't the same side that are defending. Right. We need less and less uh, laws on, on gun ownership wants to put more and more stuff on voting rights. We have to we have to protect voting, so let's make it harder. But then when it comes to gun laws, we, we have to make it easier. So we have to protect voting more than we have to protect lives. Mm-hmm. It makes it hard for, for me to understand. I don't know. I'm in the comment section. Let us know your y- y- thoughts on this um, particular situation. What solutions do you think should be done and what actions should be taken? Um, to limit this and prevent this from happening moving forward. What up, everyone? If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and hit that notification bell for the latest podcast, music videos, and comedy skits. We got a lot more content coming your way. We here all day, baby. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Subscribe <laughs> to the channel, baby. East Coast, no I'm rocking with y'all. West Coast, no I'm rocking with y'all. North side, no I'm rocking with y'all. South side, no, I'm rockin' with y'all. I'm still riding with my day one. Cause I'm rockin' with y'all. Bow County, throw your hands up. I'm rockin' with y'all. Long Beach, throw your hands up. I'm rockin' with y'all. Put some bread in the air. Cause I'm rockin' with y'all. I'm Bo Redder, a go-getter, Mo Redder, Low Redder, Dope.